This is a mini PC. It's also a wireless charger. In matter of fact, this is the world's smallest wireless charging mini PC ever built. And why can't everything have a wireless charger built in? Like a laptop, desktop, gaming console? So a company called Ace Magic sent us out this model. This is the AM20. And comparing the size of this mini PC, it's about the same size as my wallet. And it's a little bit larger than this Apple TV box. The AM20 measures 107 millimeters, by 107 millimeters by 38 millimeters and weighs less than a pound at around 372 grams. And a great feature is this top is magnetic, so you can access the inside very easily. The AM20 has some pretty impressive specs built in to this tiny PC. This little guy comes loaded with the AMD Ryzen 7. That's the 7735H chip, which has 4.75 gigahertz max boost clock, 3.2 gigahertz base clock, eight CPU cores and 16 threads. Also includes the AMD Radeon 680M. So it's got integrated graphics, which means we can do some gaming on this mini PC. And not some cheesy gaming, we're talking Fortnite and Minecraft. It also has 32 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, which is more than enough for most users. And I believe you can upgrade this to 64 gigs of RAM. The AM20 comes with 512 gigs of hard drive space and inside the PC has three M.2 slots, which allows up to four terabytes of hard drive space. As far as connections go, we have a total of three display connections. We have two HDMI connections and these outputs are 4K at 60 Hertz. We also have one type C connection, which is 8K at 30 Hertz, which allows for three displays at once. And that's pretty impressive for a mini PC. We've also got four USB 3.0 connections, two here, and two over here. We have two 2.5 gig LAN ports, which means we could run this as a server. And this PC can connect to the internet wirelessly and even includes some Wi-Fi 6E technology. It also has a headphone jack, power button, DC power connection. And once again, at the top is a built-in 10 watt wireless charger. It's not a fast charger, but it's a charger nevertheless. And the AM20 is preloaded with Windows 11 Pro. And good news, it's compatible with Linux, Ubuntu, Windows 10, and FIDE OS. So inside the box, it comes with a mini PC, HDMI cable, power connection, and the user manual. And like most mini PCs, you'll need your own keyboard, mouse, and monitor. And guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications. And make sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up. And just a heads up, we're gonna install a two terabyte NVMe SSD right here. This is the P3 Plus from Crucial. And we got a heck of a deal on this. I think we paid about $80. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and get installed. And here we go, two terabytes. So the best spot to install the SSD is gonna be right here. Place it in here, like that, down like this. And then, and by the way, this SSD did not come with a mounting screw. I had to provide my own. And tight, and we're good. All right, good to go. All right, let's plug in the keyboard and the mouse. And we're going to plug in our internet using the LAN. So do that. And then we'll plug in the monitor. All right, we're all hooked up. Let's go ahead and power on the mini PC. Now I'm running one monitor right now. This monitor is for that desktop. There we go. Once we get this all set up, I'll go in and I'm going to initialize the new hard drive, the two terabytes, and we'll get that set up. All right. All right, we're going to go to run. We're going to type in disk mgmt.msc. And we're going to see. Here we go. So it says you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. So we're going to, this is the one we installed. And we're going to go with, we'll just say with GPT. And now we need to create a new simple volume. Drive D. Now we have the two terabytes available for games, videos, pictures, documents, programs. We're going to do a wired speed test and our speeds are pretty fast. Now we have one gig fiber from CenturyLink, so your speeds may vary. Now let's do a wireless speed test. Now these speeds aren't too bad, but they could be better. And we're about 80 to 85 feet from the router in a different room. And as always, use a wired connection when possible. However, when you're on the road at a hotel or Airbnb, you're most likely gonna use a wireless connection. For me, the greatest feature of having a mini PC is the portability. So for instance, if you're going on vacation or a road trip, you can take it with you. All you need to bring is your PC, HDMI cable, keyboard, and mouse. And this fits in any backpack.
So I really wanna put this mini PC to a serious test. And the best way to do this is with gaming. So our first game is Counter-Strike, CSGO. Our second game is Rocket League. And our last game is Team Fortress 2. So the AM20 handled all the games with ease except Counter-Strike. Now Counter-Strike was playable, but it was slow and laggy. And it definitely wasn't as smooth as it could be. It also took about five to seven minutes to load the game, so it's a long wait time just to play it. But this does prove that the AM20 can play high-end games. And that's pretty impressive for such a small PC. And in addition, we did play some 4K video on YouTube. And the video was smooth and crisp. It looked fantastic. Looks amazing. Buttery smooth 4K. Got some great colors. The 4K video is spectacular. So here are a few things I love about the AM20. First, it's got some serious power. With the Ryzen 7 and the AMD Radeon 680M, and with the 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, this mini PC is a beast. Second is the versatility. With the wireless charging pad and the internet options for wireless or wire connectivity, which means it's truly a portable PC for on the go or at home. Third, the ability to have three displays at once is outstanding for multitaskers. And fourth is the easy access to the M.2 slots. The magnetic door is genius. Bravo, Ace Magic. But here are a few things that I would change about the AM20. First is the 512 gigs of hard drive space. At a minimum, it should have one terabyte, especially in this day and age. Second is the two 2.5 gig LAN ports. To be honest, you only need one because how many people are gonna use two? Instead, the extra 2.5 gig LAN port, how about an additional HDMI port or an additional USB port? That makes more sense. And the last thing is this PC gets very warm, even when playing video. During gaming, it got very hot, but it never overheated, so that's not a big issue. But keep this in mind, when you're using this PC, it will get warm. So the question is, do I recommend the Ace Magic AM20? Absolutely yes. This little PC can do anything you need and go anywhere you want. This portable PC is amazing. So guys, there'll be links in the description below to where you can buy this PC. And guys, as usual, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.